Okay, now we've formatted our spreadsheet and we've set it up so it prints to one page, we're going to just make it a little bit more user friendly. Um, if I'm taking this quiz and I know a little bit about spreadsheets, I'll look at the first question. I'll think, I don't know the answer to that, but I know a way of finding out. If I click on that cell, it brings up the formula in the formula bar up here, and I can see the answer in there. Now that's not ideal, because you don't want to be giving the answers away to your quiz. So what we're going to do is hide those formulas. They won't hide straight away, but they will once we've finished making all the other changes. So what I'm going to do is highlight both of those cells, because they've both got answers in. And I'm going to right click and go to the Format Cells menu. From there, I'm going to pick the Protection tab and make sure that Hidden is ticked. So when I protect the whole worksheet, those formulas will be hidden. You'll see that in a moment. The next step that we're going to do before we protect the whole worksheet is I'm going to lock all of these cells. Because at the moment, if I accidentally, as a, as a user, click, in the, I click here instead of there to type my answer and start typing, I've deleted the formula. Therefore, I don't know if my answer is right or wrong. It doesn't work, and the score doesn't work. So let me Control Z to undo that. So we're going to lock all these cells apart from these two yellow ones, so that the users can only type in where we want them to type. So to do that, I'm going to highlight all the cells, right-click and go back to Format Cells, Protection. Make sure locked is ticked. Hidden's got a square in it, which means some of those cells have hit are hidden formulas. Some of them aren't. Um, click OK, that's fine. So what I'm going to do now is go to, I think it's in, they've moved it into review in this new one. Yep. Protect sheet. So this will apply the changes that I've just made, the lock and the hiding formulas. Um, that's fine. It asks you for a password. I usually leave this blank um, because if you forget the password, there's no way of getting back into this to make changes. You can still open it, but... Um, you can't actually make any changes to it, so I always leave that blank just in case I forget the password. So I click OK. Now, if you look, if I try and type in there, it tells me that it's locked. If I click on there, you can't see the formula. Um, however, there's a slight problem because these yellow cells are locked at the moment. So what I'm going to need to do is go to Unprotect Sheet, highlight these two cells, right click format cells again and just take the tick out of the locked box that way when I protect the sheet again no password okay now I can't type on there can't type over a pa uh, formula can't type over the score but I can type my answer in the answer box have a go